uh, in a sorry, you know, in a in a mood of um, uh, quietly not knowing what the fuck is going to happen next. Because I'm about to sleep, and I haven't slept in about twenty, yeah, thirty six hours. So it, it's not because I don't want to do this. It's just because I don't know whether I can. I'm, I'm um, well. It's called the the Food Channel three four seven. The citywide hallucinating nation channel coming to you, yours truly, from. And it's going to be wherever it's from because I'm on a boat and I can go where I like. Uh, so, um, I just thought I say I was up at Ronnie Mead, that's one thing today. And, uh, I, I got strong emotions up, up on Ronnie Mead. We've cleared it. A lot. I was told. That's funny when you see it. Yourself. You sit there, you go, what are you joking, man? I was out on the hill overlooking. Peace Row. Um. Tower. All those things that direct all the air traffic, air traffic control. Um, so I was a little bit hallucinatory, and I, and I, um, I was reminded today of cons, people who don't give a shit, which happens to be, you know, in your face sometimes. And when it's in, sweet in your face, I get you. Do you know, people lived at Ronnie Mead for three years. There was a community there, and as much as we were on land, uh, you know, in your world wasn't ours because we were trespassers. What we were actually doing was, you know, it's not like hanging around in, a, in, a, in an estate in London. It's actually people deciding to go off on their own, try something out that not many people do. And I think living in the woods and trying to live in the weather we've had in the last three years on just wood that you find and build your own houses is commendable. And it should be recognised as such. Instead, we've got a kind of culture that likes to smash things up that are any good at all just like to smash the fucking things up if they've got any sign of any good at all it's true I've seen it in this country we employ you know third world refugees to do the dirty work we're even worse than we think we are because we kind of sit there as the police the front line while third world refugees go in and kick the houses in where actually you know we have families living there do they care about it there's kids living in there and we were kind of moving towards setting up a school schools for kids living in the woods and the culture we have the culture we have is to smash the fucking thing up and make it untraceable. Dates are interesting. It's 8.33.8 today. 8.38. It's quite kind of like 33 kind of day. Third parallel. 8.38. Anyway. I ain't going to say too much more. I just thought. I tell you that because um, it's a sad, really. You know, some of the some of the builds there were um, were in in Wales, right? If you would built places like that, they would be marked down as um, heritage because they were unusual, and there was like some beautiful builds. Some of the people who turned up were 
Podcast. To build their own home. They're craftsmen. Anyway, you're looking at my fire, but it could be um could be a window. Looking out of a long house on the top at the top all the hot day. <laughs> Cunts. That's what I call them. I'm gonna go crazy tonight because um otherwise uh you I'm not gonna stay. I'm just gonna let you know what I saw today. I'll be back. I'm gonna try and window every day. And um you get the idea.